if I had a chance to talk to the young Fuzz, um, the, the, the advice I would give Fuzzy is to uh, practice patience. I wish somebody would have told me, be patient. Um, I made some bad decisions on being frustrated, not seeing the bigger picture in the long run. I remember one time I was in a position where I, I was managing Wiz Khalifa for a hot second. No paperwork is changed, but we just on a slap handshake and being cool with Wiz, and he just needed help. And I got frustrated and stopped doing it. Um, another project I wanted to do with me and Dilla, I was, you know, Dilla was a good friend of mine. And I wanted to do a hip hop jazz project with George Duke and Stanley Clark. So I had the idea of um, putting all these hip hop producers like Quick, Dilla, Battle Cat, Pete Rock, all the guys that do, make some dope instrumentation music. And I wanted George Duke and Stanley Clark to play on top of it. Had one meeting and went left and got frustrated and they had no patience to follow out the idea. So patience, patience is definitely number one, I would tell younger Fuzzy to chill out, chill the fuck out and just follow your dreams. Uh, what's next? So my girlfriend, we have this thing amongst us where we're always asking what's next. And it's funny that you say, or you guys just framed it to what's next. Because if you go in my office right now at Capitol, in the Capitol Tower, I have a hand sign, drawn sign at, over my doorway. And I'm very big on the secrets, right? If you read the secrets or watch, that's one of my favorite inspirational uh, things to watch or get retuned or get grounded. What I learned from watching The Secret, and I always tell people to watch Secret or read the book, is they always say, above your doorway, um, have a goal or have something that you want to strive to do or keep you reminded of what's going on next, what's next. Or what, I mean, what did you want to do? So my thing was me and my girl we were talking and she asked me one time, what's next? And I'm like, I want to get back in the industry. So then the no ID call came like the same week, weird. So in my office, I have what's next written out above my door. Then my girl got me a plaque with pretty font and <laughs> that stands, it's, it's behind me in my office. So I'm always thinking of things I want to do, what's next, or what's the next fuzzy move. When I say fuzzy move, not to sound like, but what's my next power move, or I really, I like, I like, I like the position I'm in now with the artist relations, but I really would love to AR our project and, and get it, get something going. That's what I'm passionate about. That's what I want to do. So when you ask me right now to this day, what's next, and probably by the time it airs, I'll probably have some shit going, but I just want to be a little bit more hands-on with the artist creative space and creative in the studio. Just because I have the, rela the relationships and the reach, um, I don't know, I just, you know, I would like to do a cool hip hop project. So, you know, I'm talking about authentic hip hop slap shit or something dope. So, dabbling in AR. That's what's next. I respect film and TV more so now because of my girlfriend, Ricky Hughes, who she's really. 10 toes deep in the soil of, in the comedy world or just branching ideas. I, to me, I think watching, going to video shoots and seeing movies being made bores me. That's why I like live sound. That's why I like music because it's loud, it's right now. And even the creative space, even being in the studio watching somebody redo vocal, I'm like, eh, I don't know. That's why I need to practice patience because I don't have patience for that. I like live stuff. And but by dating, you know, being in a relationship with Ricky Hughes, it's like, I understand there's money to get on the business side, there's money to get there. And one thought can turn into a, a thing. Say like, you know, any idea that you may have, I think that you can build it out and, and create content, like documentaries and, and all that. So I'm starting to understand that business side of it because I'm a little bit more next to it. So I wouldn't mind doing more TV and film stuff, but um, because I'm now starting to welcome it and understand it. Like it's not a, it's not boring. It's like there's real business in it.